Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. In this video tutorial I am making for the resource level on the request of one of our value uh, uh, viewer who are who requesting me to make a video and explain resource leveling in Primera P6. So we'll see the resource, what is resource leveling in Primera P6. So resource leveling is a technique which we are using to optimize the use of schedule and resource in the project. So when we say optimize use of schedule and resources, it means that we are going to balance between the available, uh, uh, between the demand and ability of the resources during the project life cycle. So when we are doing the resource leveling, it has both uh, pros and cons. We have some benefits. On the other hand, it is some uh, some challenges also. It offers some challenges also due to resource leveling. When we say the benefits of resource leveling or smoothing is that it, uh, that it improves our resource efficiency. It can reduce the cost by eliminating the or the uh, extra, the, uh, the, the the by avoiding the misuse of the or wastage of the resources. It it it, uh, it help us to enhance our stockholders' satisfaction and it increase our schedule flexibility. Uh, sorry. On the other hand, when we say uh, the disadvantage that, that it increase schedule complexity and the duration of the project may be increased because of the unavailability of the resources, it reduces the schedule feasibility and stability and it has the potential trade-offs between the resource optimization and project objectives. And on the other way, on, on one thing more that it needs our continuous monitoring and adjustment or uh, adjustment that we have to perform during the project life cycle. So when we say resource leveling in Pamera, it needs some setting which we'll see in a while. And when we are making the resource leveling, it may impact the start and finish date, not only for the project, but individual activities. It may impact the critical part because of the unavailability of the required resources on the required, on the required time. And thus, there are chances that the project duration may increase and uh, this is uh, based on the availability of the resources and and we are using this uh, resource uh, uh, this resource level technique to avoid over allocation or under utilization of the resources we will see this in a while in primary p6 itself but uh, we have to keep this uh, in our mind because there's some confusion that, that when we are making the resource level, the dates are changed. So these changes are temporary. It's, you can say it is a scenario. What if analysis? So uh, it is the, but the, it's still the, our uh, schedule remains, our, if our schedule is the time constraint. We can revert back our schedule by uh, rescheduling the project again by pressing F9. So once we are doing the resource leveling, we have to perform following uh, activity uh, steps. Number one is that we need to define resources. What resources are required, we have to list down and as, um, create in the Primera P6. We have to assign appropriate calendar uh, and uh, for the resources, so which define their time and availability of the dates. And this calendar timing should be matched with the, our project uh, time schedule also. Means, for example, the start and finish date of the project resources should be within the, uh, the start and finish date of the activity activity IDs in the activities in the prior P6 itself. After these two assignments, define resources and assign calendar, we need to assign these resources to our all activities and thus uh, we can create the S curve or requirement or total requirement of the project. And then we see our resource, uh, we can analyze our resource using resource uh, demand demand using the resource using profile. So once we are doing that, it is important to that we should, we should need to monitor and update our schedule on resources regularly to avoid uh, our allocation or uh, to avoid any delay in the project because of the unavailability of the required resources. So when we are talking for the primary setting, uh, how can we perform this? We need so we can access the resource leveling uh, uh, dialog box by three ways in Panera P6. Number one is that we can press Shift plus F9 button. Normally, F9 button is very common for schedulers because you use to schedule the project. Similarly, when we press Shift plus F9, it will bring the leveling resource dialog box. The same we can get by clicking the icon on the main bar, and or we can go in the tool menu. And once we click the tool menu, you can see here that we have resource leveling in dialog box. So when you click, you have the option of resource leveling. You can see that you can get it by Shift plus F9 button. When you click Shift plus F9 button, level resource dialog box will be come out. Here you can see that we have several options available. Number one is that automatically, automatically level resources when scheduling. 
this option is not recommended because normally our uh, programs are time constrained similarly consider assignment in other project within priority equal or, equal or higher than this option is also not recommended because normally our construction projects are stone alone and our resources are not shared with other projects so these two options are not useful for us Preserve schedule early and later. This is by default coming. And recalculate assignment cost after leveling. This is also not uh, recommended as our projects. I said just before that our projects are time constraint, not the resource constraint. Then similarly, we have to level resources and then we have to perform level button. So uh, perform the level resource leveling. In this case, because uh, it, the, all resources are uh, labeled in respective, they have float or no. So there are many chances that increase the project duration. So if you don't want to increase the project duration, we can click here that label resources only when activity within activity total float. So the only those activities will be adjusted which have the float so that there is no impact on the critical part or project completion. And similarly, we have to now uh, assign labeling priority. Uh, activity labeling priority means uh, it will uh, 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 label activity which have the high less priority so that it has no uh, less impact on the project. Similarly, label the uh, activities based on the project's priority. If we have the shared resources between different projects, we can assign their priority level, and then the act, uh, just label resource uh, box will uh, will uh, label the resources based on the priority defined in the project level. Similarly, uh, this is the uh, uh, log file location. You can change this location, whichever you want. So, and um, this is uh, some setting we'll see in Primera also. And once you do this one, I will just, you can see in the screen now that uh, this is a typical screen having a small project uh, with the activities uh, overlapping each other and the required resources. And you can see that this is the resources which is over allocated and this black dark line you can see here, it is the resource limit. So this is our limit and our resources are double. This, this area you can see the with, when they are collide, uh, either in uh, overlapping each other or parallel activities. In this activity, the, if the resources are same resources are using for two activities, then in this area, the resource requirement will be double. You can see our resource is 10 hours per day. This is our 10 hours per day is the limit. And this is 20 hours, means that the resource requirement in this area is double. So either we need to increase our resources or if our resources are not uh, available, we need to level resources so that there is no over allocation of the resources. So this all uh, we will see in little bit in detail in Primera P6. Let's start in Primera. Now uh, open our Primera P6. We have one pro uh, we have in the project section here. So we need to add project priority here. So we just go in the columns. In the when you go in column, you have the customize. Just click the customize here and go to general tab. In the general tab, you will find project leveling priority. If you have difficulty to find this uh, show, uh, this item, just go in this uh, down arrow, click this one and click find button and type here project leveling priority. It will locate this look, uh, field. And then just click it here and click apply. Here you can see that our project labeling priority is here. The smaller the number, the higher the property. And if, for example, if some level project having priority level one, it means it is more priority. And some project having priority level ten means it has a not that much high priority. It's less priority. So this priority we define once we are when we have the resource sharing between different projects. And uh, these projects are depend depends. Some for example, some projects are government projects, some projects are private projects, some projects are educational projects. So some projects you want to finish or ex exactly on the time. For example, educational project they have to start to be finished before they start one new session. So this project maybe have more priority. Similarly, some government projects have more priority. So this depends on the circumstance of the project. So once you define this one just right click and open the project and similarly you have activity labeling priority also here you can uh, you can find also this activity in the general tab if you go general tab this activity this activity labeling priority already there just bring on the right, right hand side and click apply and then you see that you have uh, defined priority normally by default all activity have normal priority but for example if some project uh, you just click it you have priority level from one to five which is top to lowest so uh, here i just select for detailed design as a high priority 
uh, in similarly in the cluster project you can put some project like for example structure where you can put high priority and some uh, facade work you can put high pri priority similarly some uh, authority approval you can assign high pri priority similarly block work or some wet trades which is are not that much uh, time consuming uh, or not that much uh, critical you can put them less less priority this depends on the project circumstances you can define all activities priority here in the activity level priority similarly when you go in resources in the resources this is our project resources here if you i just put it here current project resources you can if you go filter you can say all resources are here so in if all resources are shown it's difficult you to locate your current project so just drop down this down arrow and go to filter and select current project resources so it will show you only the current project resources also here just make sure that your time for the each resource should coincide or within the project uh, activities time schedule better to make them uh, project uh, activities calendar and resource activities calendar same so that there's no conflict and we have to make sure that the our uh, uh, that that uh, the, our uh, activity uh, resource availability will be within the uh, time set in the project calendar so we are going activity here you can see that this uh, this is our uh, project here and its completion date is 26 october so uh, and you see here if you it, all the activities are assigned with the resources you can see that for example data collection is okay you go resources uh, then schematic design Concept, concept design, smart design, all they have assigned with the resources. Authorities approval only authority coordinator. Tender stage only project manager. Project award only project manager. So these all activities are assigned with the required resources. Now you want to see that uh, their usage that they are within the limit or no. Just go and click the resource using profile. When we click profile here, you can see that our resource using a profile shown here. For example, if you go to project manager. You can see that project manager is overall located in in this area which is over uh, which is parallel to each other for example this portion of the concept design and committee design is overlap with each other so the overlap each other here you can see the black line is showing the limit so our limit of the resource is 10 hours per day but this is the our location 20 means our requirement is double so either we need to add one more project manager here or if it is not available we need to label our resources here so to make these changes here we just go in the uh, level resource button here you can see this icon here or just go tool and in the uh, level resources so i just select the level resources here and you see that this all we discussed before so we don't want to let to do the project with and uh, with it um, total float our activities have eight days uh, total float so we just run it again press f9 okay and our project completion 26 october so now we go uh, tool and level resources and just level you can see here that this our completion is 26 october and this resources are over allocated so just click level you can see that our uh, schematic design is start from 11 september okay so just if we click resources you can see it is the schematic start now instead of 11 it becomes 16 september now our all resources are leveled you can see here and our project completion date is extended to extended by two days this is in uh, labeling it is extended by Two days means we have two days more so it will increase the project duration which may impact the project cost also so if you want to this in this way you can see the date which is matching with the requirement or resources if you want this is a only a what if scenario you want to see what happened if you level resources so if you level the resources without considering of anything your project may be have two days delay so if you want to revert back to your original setting just press f9 button and it will reschedule again and come to 26 October. Okay, and, and, and the other way, as we see before, that if you want to label the resources and don't want to impact the project completion date, just select here level resources only within activities of total within uh, level resources only with an activity total float. So only those activities will be adjusted in start or finish, those who have the total float. So just click this one. In this case, our project completion date will not be impacted because we are using the total float. So just label resources here. 
you can see our completion is still 26 uh, September and our level resources are level in a way that the project will not have any impact on its completion. So if you want to revert back to original situation, just press F9 and reach rule again. So it will bring back to uh, original situation. You see here that we have this time flow, time time period. This is a this is a total float. So when we schedule the uh, when we label the resources, this time which is uh, ideal for us, uh, a primera make use of this activity so that the, he can, the, this over allocation of the resources can be. Uh, optimize or fully utilize there is no wastage of the resources or no over allocation of the resources so total float is uh, used here in this case so i hope uh, this is something uh, good for our portfolio engineer plan engineers because normally living resources uh, living resources is not recommended in construction industry it's not used by most of the planning engineers because it is uh, this, it is our mostly our project are time constraint not the resource constraints so normally we are not considering this one but uh, this i hope it gives you some good understanding of the uh, of the inside time era and you get uh, get some new information from here and if you like it please uh, consider uh, subscribing our channel like share and subscribe and uh, i will appreciate your suggestion your good comments and uh, your uh, advices to make our channel good for our fellow plan engineers take uh, thank you very much for your time again see you soon take care and bye bye